It happens across the country all the time. High-speed car chases. In fact, just this afternoon in Dallas, police cars headed down the interstate chasing a stolen tractor-trailer cab. You can see it weaving around there. Everyone else had to scramble to get out of the way. And we have new numbers tonight showing just how many bystanders are hit in these chases, injured, mowed down, when the chases go out of control, raising the question, are they worth it? Here's ABC's David Wright. More innocent bystanders are injured or killed during high-speed police chases than by stray bullets. Oh, oh. Here in California, more than 10,000 injured over 10 years, including Stephanie Yablo's elderly parents. They were struck outside a crowded shopping mall as the LAPD chased a stolen Buick. A car came around the corner and literally slammed into them in, in the crosswalk. So they were badly injured? Horrifically injured. I've never seen anything like that. Nationally, it's estimated police chases kill nearly 300 people a year. But watchdog groups insist the real number is two to three times that many. It's law enforcement at its most dramatic and dangerous. In Lubbock, Texas last week, a toddler was tossed from the window of a careening SUV on the run from police. Miraculously, the child survived. Over the weekend, this Mercedes reached speeds of 100 miles per hour as it hurtled through the streets of Hollywood. It happened really quick, so he was coming up the road against traffic. Um, he clipped this car and it flipped. Then he, uh, he was swerving towards me, so I swerved out of his way. The vast majority are routine traffic stops gone awry. 90% of them non-violent offenses. Is it worth pursuing? Who's going to be harmed? Shall we let him go? because otherwise we might jeopardize more lives. The California Highway Patrol, like police in many communities, recognizes the risk. They've adopted new policies to discourage dangerous chases. It's important to note, they said in a statement today, in 2011, we made nearly four million traffic stops. Less than one half of 1% of those motorists chose to flee. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.